Hey, everybody, it's about Tyler here at Red Barn Productions, and today we are doing our PC build for the studio. Uh, I've already done a test assembly. Got it sitting here on. A, I don't really have a, a, a test bench, but I made it work, and we're using the. Uh, uh, this is a mishmash of parts, and it's a long story. Uh, this all started because I was having a. Uh, USB failures on my, my studio computer and I thought well uh, after looking at it looking at it looking at it the only thing I could come to is that the uh, onboard USB controllers were failing so uh, I ordered a new motherboard to go with the parts that I already had and it was a uh, supposed to have been an ATX board I didn't actually pull the old computer part and look at the motherboard to, to verify that I just went by the documentation that came with the computer and it said ATX so I ordered another ATX board that went with my 6th gen Intel. I've got an i7-6700, uh, 32 gigs of uh, uh, PC2133, uh, DDR4, and, and I had a uh, NVIDIA Geoforce uh, GTX 1070. So I, I ordered a, an ASUS BP150 uh, Pro Gamer motherboard I thought that'd be a nice little upgrade to the to the factory motherboard the more the, the motherboard gets here well before the motherboard gets here a friend of mine uh, is also a sponsor for uh, Red Barn Productions and my YouTube channel said hey I've got some pullouts uh, video cards would you like to have them I'm like well what are they and he said well they're Quantro M6000s I've got two of them and a brand new 850 watt power supply would you like to have them and I'm like well does a bear shit in the woods hell yeah I'll take them so he sent them to me. Well, uh, the the new the motherboard gets here, and lo and behold, my case is not the, the old motherboard is not an ATX; it's a, a, a micro ATX. Uh, the, the new motherboard gets here, and, and it doesn't support SLI. So anyway, I've ordered a new case to get this all together. And then uh, sometime in the near future, I'll get the right motherboard to, to make full use of these these uh, NVIDIA Quattros. And uh, let's let's get that all together and see what it looks like. Well, we've got that case up here, and it's pretty nice. I don't have anybody here to help work cameras, so this isn't like going to be the ideal video. But this is what you go through sometimes to keep your studio up and going. I will take the time to mention now that after I ordered everything and got the new motherboard, that I discovered that my problem with the old motherboard was, in fact, most likely the CPU cooler. It was faulty. And, uh, and it's probably been faulty ever since I bought that computer, come to, come to uh, think of it. So, yeah. Uh, note to self. Open the computer, make sure fans are working. Uh, we're going to probably solve that problem with this one because this one has a nice tempered glass side. And, uh. We'll be able to keep an eye on stuff like that now and, and actually see it. So let's get this laid out to where we can get it built. I hear something rattling. Let's go ahead and pull this other side off. See what I need to take out of here to pull that shroud. Uh, this actually has a power supply shroud. But we're going to 
pull out and I've got a brand new Silver Sonic is the uh, M12 2 Evo edition. It's 850 watts. Let's get this un unhooked here. over this camera so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. I really wish I'd had people to help like Linus Text Tips does. Actually, I wish I'd had Linus Text Tips here to build it for me. I figure it's going to take me about an hour to get this all together. So, uh, it's a real nice case, by the way. It came with three 120, 120 millimeter RGB fans in the front and one 80 millimeter fan in the back. It comes with four total of four fans which beats the hell out of that other computer. It was supposed to be a gaming computer and the only fan in it was the CPU fan. I was really shocked when I pulled it apart. Which reminds me I have got to get one of the hard drives out of it. There's one hard drive left. Unfortunately when I ordered this case I was in a hurry and I'm giving up uh, drive base for my CD, uh, CD drive and USB card reader and all that. So, I'll have to give that some thought and see what I can come up with. I actually want that mounted to where... Well, I'm back, and we finished up the computer build. It's, uh, other than waiting on a couple of cables that won't be here until Friday for my storage drives, it's done. Uh, and man, did I end up with a clean build. And I didn't film the entire thing because that about an hour turned out to be way too optimistic. <laughs> uh, I got really involved in the cable management, and I mean, it's just a super clean build. Uh, look at that. That's what we ended up with there. Really, really clean. I've already uh, done the benchmark and stuff, and we scored in the uh, the eighty six percentile, and that was even after being uh, uh, penalized sixty percent on the video test because my monitor will not do four K. So, all in all, I'm just really impressed. Uh, breathed a whole lot of new life into that computer. Uh, the main thing being uh, the motherboard. Uh, even though I had uh, decent uh, RAM and a decent processor, it was a little bit of a bottleneck on that front side bus, and, and we fixed all that. And uh, it's just, just amazing what a $100 motherboard did for it right there. And, of course, now instead of just having the one CPU fan, I've got six fans. And this this particular case, I keep forgetting the model number. I wasn't actually going to be promoting the case or anything. But I will mention... That it's a Masterbox Pro 5. And some of the reviews online they were saying, oh, that didn't have any airflow and it wouldn't be any good for an i7 or a, a, a 1070 video card or dual video cards and all that and 
uh, I, I'm here to to say after extensive uh, benchmark testing and everything that they are in fact wrong uh, under normal circumstances like video production and audio production that case is just fine it has three 120 millimeter RGB fans up front and then it has one 120 millimeter fan in the back and uh, even under uh, under full load the uh, the processor uh, peaked out at uh, 111 degrees for just a matter of seconds. Uh, the rest of the time it operates between 78 degrees and uh, 98 degrees, and that's under load. So it's 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 fully acceptable, especially when I've got heaters going in here and, it, and it's a little warm in here to begin with. I expect them te temperatures to come down some more uh, when we're running the air conditioner and stuff. So that's what we ended up with, and unfortunately, I didn't make it to Nam. I, I ended up with a, a really, really bad case of the flu, and the parts that was supposed to have been here over a week ago did not get here until today for the computer, so I had to sit there and wait and be here for that. So hopefully I'll make it to Summer Nam. We'll see. I get my badges every year. It's just a matter of time, having the time and the money at the same time. Until next time, this is Vitaly here at Red Barn Productions, and y'all have a good one.